We start tonight with that breaking news out of Midland affecting families here in North Texas. A parade for wounded warriors ended with four people dead and 17 others injured tonight. The veterans and their families were sitting on chairs on two flatbed floats. One just made it across the tracks as a train passed, but the other didn't clear the crossing. And Channel 8's Jason Whiteley is in Midland for us tonight where we continue to learn more. Jason? Gloria, right now, all of those victims are at Midland Memorial Hospital, not far from the scene where we are. That hospital had to call in all available staff to handle the injuries from this accident scene. This is the scene right now in the 10 o'clock hour here. 17 victims from here went to the hospital. 10 of those tonight are stable, 7 critical, and 4 people died after the accident. We've been working the phone on our way out here tonight. The victims are both wounded veterans and their families, wives, girlfriends, etc., from all over the country. They're in it's out for an annual event called Hunt for Heroes, where the wounded vets get to go hunting. Late today, they were on a float in a parade when this accident happened. A flatbed tractor trailer they were riding on was hit by this train you see parked here. Union Pacific is saying tonight that its flashing lights and its crossing arms at the intersection were all working when that collision happened. And right now, we can still see the flashing lights and the arms down with the red lights on as well. But why that vehicle got stuck is... Likely one of the questions that investigators will try to answer. Names and hometowns of a lot of these victims is something we are still working on this evening. Tonight, though, 200 people have lined up at a local blood bank to try to get blood. Another emergency blood drive is scheduled for first thing tomorrow morning at Midland High School starting at 9 a.m. It's lasting until 3 tomorrow afternoon. They're expecting dozens, perhaps hundreds. As well. At this hour, though, tonight in Midland, there is grief, there is disbelief, and a lot of questions on how an accident like this could have happened. Reporting live in Midland, Jason Whiteley, Channel 8 News. Now, Gunnery Sergeant Chad Calvert of Midlothian and his wife were on a float that made it across. Sergeant Calvert spent 13 years in the Marine Corps and was injured in an IED attack in Iraq in 2006. The father of two had been documenting the trip. He posted on Facebook, police and motorcycle escort from airport to hotel. First class is an understatement. Wow. Then, only getting better. With pictures of the key to the city of Midland, he received a short time before the accident.